the Texas Longhorns because Texas went on the road to Lubbock and lost to Texas Tech, who has now won four out of their last six game guys. Six games, guys. To you are uh, an honorary resident of the city of Lubbock, Texas. You are, I don't even want to say an honorary Red Raider. I think that you bleed the red and black. So talk to me about your Red Raiders. They picked up a win over uh, number six, Texas tonight to improve to 14 to 12 on the season. Three and 10 of the Big 12, the final score, 74 to 67. Devion Harmon had 25 points, scored 21 of those in the first half. Talk to me about your Red Raiders. That's good. They're they uh, they're playing better. They're still three and ten in conference. I, I I don't know what to tell you. Like, good job, guys. But you gotta you gotta win more. The the the, good, the positive about this is that you're playing well, and that Fardaws is back and he looked comfortable. That helps things, and you have quad one opportunities uh, until the cows come home. Like every game's a quad one, so it's like one of those things. Like like you have all the opportunity to. To get a to get resume wins on a nightly basis in that league, that's the big positive of a thing. And now that Fardals is back, it gives him a post presence. He looks comfortable. He's moving well. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, I think you know Pop Isaacs, him being gone. You know if he if if he does or doesn't guard, I, I think he provides value because he's an emotional guy who can get hot in a hurry. He provides value, but. Uh, they look fine. I, that's a tough Texas team they beat today, but that league's a bear. And every single night, you have to bring it to the level that they brought it today, and they just haven't this season yet. Tyler? Hey, yeah, I mean, this is a big win. I, I really like Texas. I think Texas is a contender. So, uh, obviously, with Texas Tech and their, their record in conference, it's really hard to justify giving them too much credit. Uh, but this was a big win for them. Obviously, they shot well from the three, lit it up 50%. They only shot 14 of them, though. Uh, 92 from percent from the line. Yeah, this is a big win for Texas Tech. I, I haven't followed them too closely, uh, but this is a quality win. You, you <laughs> haven't needed to until, like, the last two weeks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the thing, too. Like, uh, you got to give them credit, though. I mean, they followed their scout report. They played hard. That 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 crowd, when it's going, is really good. But that crowd hadn't been there. So don't you all start popping out of the woodworks right now, Texas Tech. You hadn't been there all year. You started disappearing gradually. So you're not fooling anybody. You can't go hot for two weeks and then all of a sudden be back on your high horse. So let's just pop that part in there real quick. But, they, I mean, they forced Cunningham to shoot nine shots. That's not what he wants to do. Like, mm -hmm. the, they did a nice job following their scout. They get generated some momentum at home. Good for them. Good win. You're going to have more opportunities. It can't just be one night. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think the issue with this team has ever been talent, and and that's the thing that makes them kind of like a sneaky dangerous team uh, as we head into the Big Twelve tournament. Um, it's not an issue with talent. It's an issue. It was an issue of execution. It was an issue of were they guarding well enough? It was an issue of were all the pieces bought in and pulling in the same direction? Were they healthy? Right. But if you look at some of the games that they played, they lost by six at TCU. They lost by three at home to Kansas in a game that questionable call could have gone the other way. If you remember that charge, uh, they could have won that game. They lost in overtime at home to Oklahoma. Um, they lost by two at Texas. They lost by seven at home against Baylor. They lost by 10 uh, at Kansas State in a game that was closer than what that final score would indicate. So it's not like they are all that far away, right? A couple right bounces, and they're probably sitting here at five and eight, maybe six and seven in the conference. And then you actually have a real chance. But now you're going to have to find a way to win games. This is how they end the season, Tyler. At West Virginia, at Oklahoma, home against TCU, at Kansas, home against Oklahoma State. You win. Oh my God. Yeah. You win, but you win four of those. You get to seven and 11 in the league. Iowa State made it as an at large at seven and 11 from the Big 12 last season. I don't think they've done enough of the non conference to do it, Tyler, but you never know. That's the, that's the benefit of playing in the conference like this. I mean, it's possible. I mean, they're going to really, they're going to have to catch, I mean, strike fire here in a little bit, but uh, it is possible. They're going to have their opportunities. That's a good way to look at it. They're going to be able to rack up some quad ones uh, in the toughest conference and make a case. Uh, and also <clears throat> the idea is to play your best basketball uh, towards the end of March. That doesn't mean you just throw away the season before, uh, but they're going to have their opportunity. So, uh, you know, if this is going to be the team that everyone thought, uh, they're going to have to win some of these games. Hey, hold on one second. You, they, you said they got to win four out of those five? 
I said if you get if you win four out of those five, you get to seven and eleven in the league. Iowa State made it as from seven at seven and eleven in the league last. So repeat season. those. I, go through those five games again for me. Oh my, I got to go back to the page then. Yeah, I'm sorry. You have at West Virginia, at Oklahoma, TCU at home, at Kansas, and Oklahoma State at home. Hey Rob, that shit ain't happening. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> they're either. not. By the way, they're not winning four. Hey, they need to win two to make the NIT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Listen, like, I, like, well, hey, let's expectations. You win two out of the next five, you get a postseason tournament. How's that? 